Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here with Catch the Fever and I'm here today to talk about uh, our Striper Stealth Rod Series here right behind me. We're going to talk about each rod model, what it offers you as an angler, talk about the different powers and the different actions, and just kind of explain the overall techniques that you can use each rod model for out on the water. All right guys, let's come over here and let's talk about some of these rods in the Striper Stealth lineup. Now, what we have here starting out, this is the Striper Stealth Medium Light. If you're a guy who does a lot of downline fishing or really some free line fishing around the boat, the Striper Stealth Medium Light is perfect for you. It's a great option if you like going after those hybrid and those striped bass around in the range from the two all the way up to the 15 pound range. This size or this rod model right here is perfect for that application. Now, moving on up the lineup to the Striper Stealth Medium. Now you're getting into a rod where you can really get into more techniques of fishing. Even steel has a super soft tip, so it's a great application for doing downline fishing. Again, free line, as well as pulling planer boards or slip bobbers, directional uh, bobbers or quartz. This is a great option for that as well. What makes these rods really nice, even as we go up the lineup, is it's got a nice soft tip, so if you're using those planer boards, it's gonna bow to that planer board, whether there's rough water or whether you're in one of those scenarios where you're starting to get hung up, that rod tip is gonna bow to that planer board, not deploying the line from that clip, making you have to reel in your planer boards again and reset. The medium power striper stealth rod is a great option for if you're looking to pull planer boards, directional uh, floats, or target mid-size to trophy striper. Now, going on up again, we get into the medium heavy. This is probably one of our most popular rod models. If you're a guy that does a little bit of traveling or you're in a scenario where, you know, you're targeting striper anywhere from that 10, even up to 30 pound range, we've had some striper that are landed on this rod model up to 64 pounds. So, they're all capable of pulling in those nice trophy striper. The tip on this rod is a nice, it gives and allows that fish to be able to take in the bait turn around, allowing that circle hook to get home and get in that nice spot that you're gonna hook up a time and time again with a high hookup ratio. So that's a nice rod model as well. Going up into the heavy for you guys that like a little bit more power, you're gonna like this rod because if you're using bigger baits, bigger weights, bigger boards, this rod's got the robust behind it to really turn a big fish in a hurry. So this is the heavy power, it's still around a fast to a moderate fast action tip. So you're gonna get that bend and that backbone coming into about right here, giving you a lot more power behind the rod. So if you're using bigger live baits, pl pulling with bigger boards, or really if you're cut baiting, sitting the rod in the holder, this rod is gonna have a lot of power behind it for those te techniques of fishing as well. Now, going up to the biggest and the most powerful rod model that we produce. This is the Striper Stealth Extra Heavy. This steel has a nice soft tip on it, but a lot of power behind it. A lot of backbone, and the reason we created this rod is for all you guys that are either out there on the Tennessee River chain, where you're either floating two pound trout, uh, trying to get that big fish, or if you're in a scenario where you're on a body of water, uh, where you're pulling bait just over treetops, and you can't afford that fish to really be able to turn and go down in those trees, this is gonna throw the brakes on a big fish. You can really outfit this rod model with a, with a reel that's got a lot of drag behind it, but you're still gonna have that soft tip that's gonna give you a high hookup ratio with those trophy striper with the backbone to turn them and get him in in a hurry. Because we all know during those summer months, getting those big fish in, getting them in fast and releasing them gives you a much higher survival rate. This rod is gonna get it done time and time again with some major backbone. So there you go, guys. That's the Striper Stealth lineup right here from medium light all the way to extra heavy for all your techniques. All right, guys, now let's go over the action and power of each one of these rods and show you firsthand what you can expect. We know you guys are looking at this and thinking about ordering online and you want to be able to see these rods in action. That's what we're going to do right now with telling you about each rod and their techniques. 
What I've got here is a carabiner. I've got each rod outfitted with it. And what this is gonna allow me to do is really be able to pick up and bounce the tip, show the backbone so you guys can see when that backbone comes in. And for you guys at home are able to decide which rod model is gonna work best with you on the water before ordering it. Now again, this is the medium light uh, striper stealth rod. I'm gonna show you that tip action right there. That is something that's very important for you guys who's looking to order at home and seeing the sensitivity. All right, now I'm gonna start, start to gradually pull up. Not gonna put a ton of pressure, but just a good amount of pressure. You can see that nice, even parabolic bend in the medium light rod. You still got plenty of backbone, but that tip is super light. That's really important when you're using live baits, especially during the summertime or when the water gets a little bit rough, not to kill that live bait and be able to see that fish when he hits. So there is the, the, uh, the action on that rod right there. Again, this would be classified as a slow action, medium light power. Now we're gonna show you the medium power striper stealth rod. Again, this is still a great rod if you're looking to do some downlining and get into some planter board fishing or using bobbers, slip bobbers, directional floats. This is another great rod option. Got it hooked to my carabiner here, and I'm gonna put the same amount of pressure on each rod. Not gonna give one rod more pressure than the other, so you can be able to tell the sensitivity from each rod as we go up. Bouncing the tip on the medium, as you can tell, that super soft tip is so important, guys. We cannot stress it enough how important that soft tip is. That striper has to be able to come up, grab that bait, turn for that circle hook to find its home, and you have to be able to see what your bait's doing. You have to be able to see when it gets nervous, and then when that fish hits, there you can see right there, guys. That is also would be classified as a slow action. But as you can see, that medium light, it was bending to about right here and that backbone's coming in a lot sooner on the medium. Still, really nice soft tip for using circle hooks on those striper and live bait fishing. But you can see how much more power that you've got with the medium power striper stealth rod. All right guys, now the next rod model and probably one of my favorite and I know is one of our best sellers and that is the Striper Stealth Medium Heavy. The reason so many guys like this is because it's such a versatile rod. I'm gonna show you the power and action on this rod just like the others so you can see firsthand how this rod looks when you order it and get it shipped to your home. Again, I'm gonna bounce that tip. That's the one thing you're gonna find common through all the Striper Stealth rods is that nice soft tip. That's so important for planter board fishing and live bait fishing. Now I'm going to pull up on this rod and you can see right there guys that you're getting into more of like a moderate slow action in that rod. Meaning that that backbone is starting to come in a whole lot sooner, giving you a lot more power. So if you're out there, you're catching anything from small fish to trophy size fish, you've really got some power behind that rod. I mean you can see just how much backbone that you've got in that rod. I know all you guys at home who's trying to make a decision on a rod, you really want to be able to see this right here. And again, I'm not putting any more pressure on this medium heavy than I have on the medium and the medium light. A lot of backbone, really soft tip, and a nice parabolic even bend. That's what you want to look for in a good quality rod to get those fish in. Moving right on along to our Striper Stealth Heavy Power Rod. This is for you guys, like we mentioned, who's going after a little bit bigger fish, or you may be using bigger baits. You know, you might want a little bit more power behind that rod. And uh, I'm gonna hook it up here, pick it up, show you guys what you're in for when you order the Striper Stealth, Stealth Heavy Power. Again, there's that common denominator in all these rods right here, is that nice soft tip. But now let's pull up on this rod and see just when that backbone's coming in and that action starting to change a little bit. Now you can see even more, it's a gradual, a, a gradual increase in that backbone as we go from the medium to medium heavy and then just gradually giving you a little bit more backbone in the heavy. But that nice soft tip is still there. And again, just lifting up on that for you guys to be able to see what you're in for at home who's not able to pick it up at a retailer. 
So you've got a nice, lot of backbone. You still got a lot of power in this rod. I can't stress to you guys, even though this is a glass rod that has a soft tip, you've got a lot of power to be able to turn a big fish and get them in quick. So there you go. That's getting more closer to about a, a fast action, but still a moderate, a moderate fast, but really good rod for pulling on those big bass, not ripping the hooks out of their mouth and allowing them to eat that bait and then pull them in quick and easy. Last but certainly not least, probably one of my top favorites uh, for sure in the Striper Stealth lineup, and that is the Striper Stealth Extra Heavy. This ride gets me really excited, and I know it will for you guys too, because anytime you're ordering a Striper Stealth Extra Heavy, you're going after some big fish, you're floating some big baits. I mean, you're really going out there looking for that fish that's really gonna make the entire trip. We started out with just the heavy, heavy power uh, striper stealth rod and then we got into the extra heavy. For all you guys that are in that river chain or if you're fishing a lot of cover, floating those really big baits, those big baits still need that soft tip. I mean, you got a really soft tip. Or let's say you're cut bait, throwing it out, putting the rod in the holder. When that big fish picks it up, even in that river current, that nice soft tip is there so they don't feel the resistance of the rod. But check out when I set the hook coming up with it. Boom, you've got a lot of backbone, a lot of power behind this extra heavy. You're still getting more into like a fast action, but with this glass rod, it's really gonna allow you to really pull on a big fish, but without pulling the hook out of its mouth. That's why we absolutely love a glass rod when we're looking to design a live bait or a trolling scenario type rod. So let me pull up on that again to show you guys what you're in for. Again, that backbone comes in real soon. You're all the way at the front of that rod with this backbone, but still kind of giving you a fast action on that tip. Really soft tip and a ton of power. That's what you can expect from the Striper Stealth Extra Heavy. Again, for all you guys who are doing the rivers or if you're pulling a big fish out of the top of a tree, this is gonna help you be able to do that. Get that fish in quick so you can revive it, release it, and uh, catch it another day. Thank you guys for stopping in and learning a little bit about the Striper Stealth lineup. We're confident that no matter which ride model that you choose, that it's gonna be a success for you day in and day out on the water.